Hi everybody, it's Miss Connie and today we are at the Disney Archives um, exhibit at the Bowers Museum in Santa Ana, California. I've been wanting to come see this for the longest time and it is the last weekend so I managed to get out here just in time to see it. So I want you to come along with me as I show you the Disney Archives Museum exhibition at the Bowers Museum. We first go in, there's a giant Dumbo. Look at this, how cute is he? Wow, look at this. Very cool. We've got Walt Disney Archives right there. Inside the Walt Disney Archives. Here we go. Okay, when you first come in, there is like a recreation of Walt's actual office. And you can see it, and you can see all the stuff behind there and everything. Fortunately, it's about as close as I can get, but I don't know if you can make out some of the figures and everything that are there. I believe they're all recreations from the original. And then here is some sketches of some of the rides. We've got Jungle Cruise, Disney, some of the equipment they used to help create Disneyman. And here's a really cool poster of Fantasia which is one of my favorite movies. And then here's some examples of an, an animation desk here. Some pictures on the walls here. And some really cool animation on the walls right here. And here's some actual artifacts. Here we've got the Lady in the Tramp book that's actually signed by Walt Disney. There's a passport, his glasses. There's a pen that was actually used by him. There's an old employee badge, number one. Press preview for Disneyland when it first opened, right there. It's a business card, just some. Um, amazing looking artifacts from actually that Walt Disney actually had and there's actually a ticket number one right there wow amazing purchased by Roy Disney it is an actual menu right here look at these prices and everything you can get a sandwich for 35 cents back then Visitors Pass, Studio Visitors Pass there. Progress, Walt Disney Studio Cafe. You can get lunch for 60 cents back then. <laughs> Vintage Mickey Mouses. You know me, if you watched my last video, you know I love Vintage Mickey stuff. And Disney, Vintage Disney's merchandise. <laughs> Look at that Snow White travel case. That is awesome. And here is Davy Crockett's actual coon, coon skin cap that he wore. And then we've got Zorro's sword, and magic bell knob, a different bed knives and broomsticks. We have Mary Poppins. Those are the actual nursery blocks used in the movie Mary Poppins. Magic ring from the Shaggy Dog. Look at this Jungle Cruise model. One of my favorite rides. And this is too cool. This is the actual carpet bag that was used in the original Mary Poppins, used by Julie Andrews. That is too cool. Look at this. And I remember there's a story that goes along that this was lost somewhere and it was found like in a janitor's closet or something, just thrown there. This is amazing. Look at this. Oh my god, to think that Julie Andrews used this actual bag in the original Mary Poppins is just awesome. And then here's some examples of Disney theme park tickets. There's a Tokyo Disney. There's one that looks like from Paris, Euro Disney, but that was when now it's Paris Disney. You've got the dollar ticket there, Magic Kingdom. This card's right here. And there's a little thing about the Disney ticket system right here with the A through E tickets. I'll go ahead and leave that right there. 
You're more than welcome to uh, pause the video right now if you want to read that. I will bore you all with reading it. There's some name tags right here, and you can see how the employee name tags have evolved over time. Just very cool. Here's some more vintage. Here's a big conductor Mickey right there. So cool. There's laughing there. Ooh, look at that. Very scary. That's an animatronic that they must have used to create something. We have live action Pinocchio. The live action Pinocchio right there. Sorry. Oh my god, and check out this huge Sleeping Beauty prop storybook. There's Sleeping Beauty, there's Cinderella right here, and then there's Snow White right there. These are actually used as props probably in the movies. They're just beautiful. Look at the size of the Sleeping Beauty one. And all the stones that are put into it and everything. Just amazing. The Cinderella one right there. Kind of looks like leather. It's all engraved. The Snow White one. This is beautiful. We're now going into the prop room. And you can see right here they actually have the evil queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'll hold this right here so you guys could pause if you want to read this. This is actually from the full length uh, movie. Just too cool. Din Rex from Star Tours. Very cool. Oh my goodness, my favorite ride at Disneyland. We've got the stretching room, we've got Master, Master Gracie, we have Mac, we have the Hitchhiking Ghost. Too cool. I need this set up at home. This is too awesome. Look at this. Actual props. Too cool. Of the dress, Elsa's dress right here. It's beautiful. We have Anna's dress. Look at this. Beautiful. Gracie's the one that probably Warren Beatty probably wore this. Very cool. Max here. Award from Pretty Woman. I had no idea Pretty Woman was a Disney movie. Very cool. Lady Tremaine's outfit from Cinderella. Very cool. Arthur Deville, Roma Glade clothes from 2000. She actually wore this. And here's the actual shield that was used in the new Alice in Wonderland movie. Right there. You can see it right there. Very cool. From This is Maui's Fish Hook from Once Upon a Time. Oh, I loved that series. Captain Jack's Compass from Pirates of the Caribbean. Right there, Curse of the Black Pearl. Johnny Depp used that. The Heart of Davy Jones, Dead Man's, used by Johnny Depp. And Dead Man's Chest is the actual chest that they used in the movie from Dead Man, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. And here's a giant Roger Rabbit that they used it for reference when they were filming Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which you know is one of my favorite movies because it has Jessica in it. And look, there's Wilson. So Cogsworth that they used for the live action Beauty and the Beast. Then here's Lumiere. Too cool. And here's the Mad Hatter's teapot. Very cool. Anybody recognize this? It is the actual shrinking ray they used in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Look at that. Rick Moranis would be standing behind it, shrinking the kids down. Very cool. They have Herbie the Love Bug. Look how cute. They've got the bicycle piano from World to Color, the Golden Horseshoe Review. Actually, a prop that was used at the park, Disneyland Park. I remember that. They would ride and play the piano. We've got a car right here. Yeah. 
they had this 1915 Model T Ford that actually was used by Fred McMurray in the Absent-Minded Professor movies. And here's a couple of things from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. There's the actual watch that was used by Rick Moranis, the glasses he wore. There's an actual broom here from Mary Poppins. And an actual model that was used in for Jessica Rabbit and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Too cool. And speaking of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, here's the actual costume that was worn in that movie uh, for Judge Doom. And it was worn by Christopher Lloyd right here. Yes. And there's this one right here. This is the actual outfit worn by Angelina Jolie in the Maleficent movie. This is awesome. So from Maleficent, this is worn by Queen Ingrid. This actually was worn by Michelle Pfeiffer in the Maleficent movie also. Beautiful. Mulan Sword. From the live action Mulan movie. That's awesome. Oh, and Lady and the Tramp. And from the new live version, Lady and the Tramp. It's her collar. Cute. Who guys is this scene? This is actual Pride Rock, and this was used by the art department to film or to create that scene in The Lion King. Just awesome. You can see the little Simba up there. Oh, and all the animals moving toward the Pride Rock area. This thing is massive. But it is so cool. Actual Disney Legends, we have their handprints there. There's Sir Elton John. Van Dyke right here. We have Paige O'Hara, which is Belle, my favorite. Oh, oh, just a touch, can't touch. Cool. Genie himself, there's Robin Williams handprints right there. Very cool. That was the Walt Disney Archives. I hope you've enjoyed this tour with me. It was amazing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscription button. And I wanna thank you for the continued support. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And you guys all take care and have a magical day. Bye-bye, everybody.